Oh, here we go. It's about to begin. It's all about to kick off. Last episode was about the Cold War, the great powers building up, taking out the little guys, getting to the final big five. And the Scipii and the Greeks have broken their alliance. Both have spent their time building massive armies. So this is going to be an incredible war. And I think the Scipii can win, but if the Seleucid Empire hit them too, maybe they might just defeat them. Maybe, I don't know. All we really need now is something else to uh, kick off over here as well, between the Germans and the Julii. Welcome to part 4 of this Rome Total War AI only campaign using the Randomizer mod. Tutorial to download it and use it is in the description down below. Yeah, part 4, here we are. And I think, yeah, this one's probably gonna be the World War. And then part 5 on Friday will probably be the final. Oh, I didn't even notice that. The Greek city-states and the Seleucid Empire, they're already fighting out. Yeah, they're already fighting it out and Lugdodum fell to the Seleucid Empire. The Greek city-states losing territory. Although that could be good. If the Scipii don't get involved and the Seleucid Empire take all of this, then they could challenge the Scipii. Now that could be interesting. Also, oh, the brute, yeah, I've had to lose it. It was a nice little expedition to see in the last episode, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to continue. I think the Greeks are going to silence it. There we go, the brute, yeah, pushed back now to just Ireland. Although they do have some troops in Cornwall. The Seleucid Empire now pushing across, putting lemons under siege. And they took it. The Greek cities do try and counterattack, but I don't know. I think the Seleucid Empire should be able to hold. Oh, but that doesn't really matter. The Scipii, they've spotted it. They know the Seleucid Empire is weak. They see the division. They're going in. Divide and conquer. Eretium already under siege. It seems the Scipii... They want to unite Italy under one Roman banner. I told you in the last episode it would be all chaos, and yeah, that promise has been delivered upon. It is chaos right now. What? 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 Oh, so, so much territory fell. First of all, uh, Scipii took Eretium and Mediolanium, as expected. Uh, lemons fell to the Greeks, but somehow... The Brutii made a comeback all the way down here in their former territory. Wow, does this mod actually change the culture as well? The settlement rioted and went back to the Brutii. Yeah, that must have been what happened. It rioted. Oh, that's interesting. Brutii and the Greeks at peace. There's no way. There's no way it was exchanged in a peace deal. There's no way that AI did that. It must have been a rebellion, surely. Surely. I've never seen... I, I, I don't know. The fact a ceasefire was signed on the same turn... It does make me wonder. Was it part of the agreement? No, there's, there's no way that AI can do that. We've never seen it before. We're not going to start seeing it now. Surely not. <laughs> Massilia and Segesta under siege? Yeah, the Romans have so many armies right now. And post-Marian reforms as well. Ah, oh, they're gonna dominate the Seleucid Empire. Unless the Greeks can cut them off. That is also a possibility. Cut off the Scipii and then take it for themselves. Yeah, they took Nabo Martius. The Scipii took Segesta, that is all of mainland Italy, now under their control. And then there's two settlements left, until it's only the Greeks their border. Oh, and the British, but they don't count. The AI does not like expanding over here, uh, they struggle with it a bit. Hey, at long last, the Spanish are dead. The Julii finally did it. Well done to them. Faction destroyed Spain. 
And there it is, the Julii. Now they've destroyed the Spanish, they immediately move on to the Germans, putting Hatra under siege, but they could actually hold out. Yeah, they could hold out there. I, I'm surely the Julii are going to win it, but I think the Germans, they could put up a good fight, I think. I think they could do it. Okay, maybe not. If the Julii can take a settlement that heavily defended in Hatra, I don't think the Germans can hold out. I think the Germans are done. That's not a good sign there. I think the Middle East is gonna go red under the Julii's banner. Oh, I did not notice that uh, the Seleucid Empire took Numantia from the Brutii, uh, kicking them back to just Ireland. But the Brutii, they don't give up, putting Deva under siege yet again. Oh, have they signed a peace deal? I think they have. Oh, are we gonna go back and forth with the AI again? I bet we are. <laughs> Sidon, Damascus, Palmyra, all under siege on the same turn. Oh, and Seleucia as well. That's gonna look beautiful on the map. If they all change hands in the same turn, that's gonna look good. One. Oh, they only took one. Oh, two fell there. Beautiful. Uh, they didn't take Palmyra there. Yeah, they've got Susa under siege. And Lugdodum taken by the Greek city states. Yeah, they did cut them off, and now they're heading into Iberia, trying to take this land quick so they can then prepare for the Scipii. Susa has fallen, and Macedon is back here at Tarsus. Uh, good luck. Although we all know how that's going to go, I think that was a ceasefire. If I'm not mistaken, was it? Yes, it was a ceasefire. <laughs> back over here again now with Macedon, back over there. Doing the exact same stuff. Palmyra finally fell. What's next? It's gonna be Jerusalem next, isn't it? Yeah, Jerusalem, then Bostra possibly. And then we get into Egypt. The Greeks finally into Iberia after taking Oscar. And there we go, Massalia has fallen to the Scipii. I kind of like how they've divided this, like, uh, the Scipii got Italy plus a bit of a... Uh, yeah, control over the Alps, and in return, the Greeks got Iberia. That was an okay split. But I don't know, I think we're going to see a Seleucid comeback. Reason being, I think the Scipii is going to go straight for the Greeks, weaken them, and then the Seleucid Empire can take back some of their land. We could see that happen. Jerusalem has fallen to the Julii. Bostra has fallen to the Julii. These Germans never stood a chance. Britain and the Seleucid Empire sign a peace treaty. Oh, the Seleucid Empire is going for the British. Seleucid Empire here losing Numantia to the Greeks. Ooh. Dumatha has fallen to the Julii. Oh, this is the chaotic world war we were all waiting for. This is the war we wanted. Yeah, just chaos on all fronts. We've been waiting for it, and it's finally here. Petra under siege. Whoa, look at all that trade there. Where's that off to? Where's that going? Really, why is there so much trade here? In the middle of the desert, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Especially considering the two powers are at war. Like, who are they trading with? <laughs> it looks weird, that's all. Petra has fallen, Alexandria has fallen, the Germans could be the next faction to die. Nah, I doubt the Julii will make it all the way over here to Libya. Yeah, they might make it to Siwa, but that's about it. And just look at the damage the Greeks are doing to the Seleucid Empire. Scalabis has now fallen, Corduba is about to fall, Carthago Nova about to be taken. But I'm sure they'll survive for quite some time on these tiny islands. Corduba fell, and the British, down to their final settlement, Campus Sakai over here. The Scipii did it, they got rid of them. Oh no, they're still alive in the Amazon settlement. Uh, it blended in a bit there on the map. 
Memphis under siege. Asturica, fallen, the Seleucid, yeah, the Seleucid settlement up there. Carthago Nova still holds. Their island still holds, but I think it's over for the Seleucid Empire. I take it back. I don't think they're going to have a comeback. I think they're done. The Julii took Memphis and Siwa on the same turn. The Germans just holding out here in Thebes. And in Libya, Lepsis Magna, which is under siege by Carthage, who wants their revenge. Oh no, we got a dead faction, the Seleucid Empire regicided. Regicide is where the faction loses all of their generals, and so they become rebel. So that's two rebel islands now. Faction destroyed the Seleucid Empire. No, no, please don't tell me it's crashed. Oh, phew. <laughs> We're safe. <laughs> the Julii also took Thebes. Look at these armies here. And the final German settlement still under siege. Come on, Carthage. Surely you've got to take it eventually. Oh. Hold on. The Germans became a vassal of Carthage, yet they seem to have gone to war immediately after. The Germans come in with a massive stack from out of the desert. They're going to try and save themselves. Yeah, I think they just retreated from the Romans. They're, yeah, they're running away. <laughs> they're running. Alright, so let's just uh, take a deep breath and see where we currently are at. So, we did have five great powers, uh, but the Seleucid Empire got eaten up by both the Scipii and the Greeks. And then we had the Germans getting destroyed by the Julii. So we're now down to just three great powers, plus Carthage, plus the British, and plus the Brutii. But, you know, they don't really count. They're not going to win it. Oh, the Germans! The Carthaginians did it, got in there, before the reinforcements could arrive. Faction destroyed, Germania. Oof. Three major powers left. That's all. I'm not counting Carthage as a major power. Yeah, they're too small. Okay, so, what next? Well, the Julii, they're not at war with anyone. They're either going to go for the Scipii, which they are going to struggle, struggle to do, or they're going to go for Carthage, which they will also struggle to do due to the desert. Then we've got the Scipii and the Greeks, who should go to war eventually. But when? When is it going to happen? I don't know. Quick capital update, as people do usually like this stuff. Uh, by Lazara is the Scipii capital, right in the middle. Tarsus is the Julii capital, a little bit higher north. And Samabovria is the Greek capital. Yes, again, in the middle. It's sometimes just interesting to see where they do put them there. Oh, so that's what the Julii went for. A war with the Scipii. They have a border here. Now, the AI is not smart enough to really cross the water with any decent force, so we're not going to see anything there. Uh, the war must have started with a blockade in the Caspian Sea. How pointless. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see that much from this war yet. Oh, the first conflict between the two Romans. And the Julii pushed them back, although it's really nothing in the grand scheme of things. Uh, still interesting to watch. Uh, the British Amazonia settlement has fallen to the Greek city-states. Now they are down to their final settlement. Hey, well done to Carthage for taking Palma. The Julii put Cyrene under siege. And they took it as well. They took it, they had some progress. But yeah, sadly we're not going to see a massive, like, naval conflict where the Julii land in Greece or the Scipii land in Anatolia. We're not going to see that, but we might see some conflict up here in the north. 
you know what? I don't think the Scipii can handle the Julii and the Greeks at the same time. Like, if the Scipii have to bring troops uh, up here to deal with them, then if the Greeks were to attack, I think they could do it. I think they could destroy them working together. Hmm, that would be interesting to see. But currently the two powers are- Oh! They were allied last turn. That must have happened just now. The Scipii and the Greek city-states are at war. So it begins. Can the Scipii survive it? Well, they've put a uh, home sweet home under siege. There's Greeks in their land. Massalia is under siege. Ah, oh, this is going to be chaos, I think. But it's also going to be the end of this episode. The end of part four. We've gone on long enough. And there we are, the big world war was over, the chaos time. Uh, but now, part five, the final, gonna be this Friday. And it's gonna be, can the Scipii survive? If they do, they win. If they don't, then it's gonna be between the Julii and the Greek city-states. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in that one. Possibly the final. Subscribe to get notified of it. Share it with anyone you think may be interested. But for now, goodbye. Hopefully we can just chill in with the javelins. No, somehow we survived that. <laughs> You think Three Kingdoms generals are ridiculous? Like, just look at them, Turtle Wob. It's always been like that. Oh, no, he's done a break. Oh. I should have just got him with the cavalry.